It's time, time to get back to work. May Adamson's stern letter to New York City employees. You are required to report to work in person. Throughout the coronavirus pandemic, work from home has served as a welcome option to many of the 300,000 plus city employees. I would love a hybrid schedule. I much prefer that. I think it's much more humane. I think it would be much more productive. I think it would save me a ton of dough with commuting costs, municipal worker Bill Gaston said. But a not so subtle reminder arrived Tuesday in the mailbox of <laughs> of every municipal worker, and it came from the mayor's chief of staff. It read in part, all city employees should be advised that absent a reasonable accommodation, you are required to report to work in person for every scheduled workday and hybrid schedules of any kind are not permitted. Cheryl Lee, who works as an elder abuse coordinator in the city's department for the agent, I think he's using us as pawns. You are not looking at the prevalence of COVID coming back, being in and out. I just think it is a weird stance to take, not considering your workers, Lee said. For his part, the mayor wants the city workers to lead by example, by returning to the office full time. Meanwhile, a Wall Street power breakfast Wednesday morning, Adams encouraged business leaders to bring private sector employees back to the large, empty Manhattan buildings, a move he calls crucial to New York's economy recovery. It's time for all of us to be on team New York to get our city back and up. So let's go to the video here. Let's check out this video. Ours is in Lower Manhattan with the details. Joe. Elizabeth David, the mayor's thinking goes like this. How can he ask New York City's banks, law firms, brokerage houses to bring their employees back to the offices when municipal workers enjoy the privilege of a hybrid schedule or working completely from home? Well, the mayor says those days are over. City employees, it's back to the office. And the mayor says that's not a suggestion. That's in order. Throughout the coronavirus pandemic, it has served as a welcome option for many of the 300,000 plus city employees. Work from home. I would love a hybrid schedule. I'd much prefer that. I think that's much more humane. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be more productive. It would save me a ton of dough mm -hmm. with commuting costs. But a not so subtle reminder arrived yesterday in the mailbox of every municipal worker, and it came from the mayor's chief of staff. It read in part, all city employees should be advised that absent a reasonable accommodation, you are required to report to work in person for every scheduled workday and hybrid schedules of any kind are not permitted. Cheryl Lee works as an elder abuse coordinator in the city's Department for the Aging. Well, I think that's using us as pawns. You know, you're not looking at the prevalence of COVID, you know, coming back, being in and out. So I think it's a very, you know, just a weird stance to take, not considering your workers. For his part, the mayor wants city workers to lead by example by returning to the office full time. At a Wall Street power breakfast this morning, Mayor Eric Adams encouraged business leaders to do the same. Bring private sector employees back to the largely empty Manhattan offices, a move he calls critical to New York's economic recovery. I'm trying to fill up office buildings, and I'm telling J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, I'm telling all of them, listen, I need your people back into office so we can build the ecosystem. We need to see people in the Dwayne Reeds of the world. We need to see them in the coffee shops and the luncheonettes. And if they're not here, those businesses can't survive. Now, the mayor's order comes nearly two weeks after the city's public advocate told his staffers they can work remotely for the next 30 days. This after an uptick in COVID cases. So there you have it. Mixed messages from city leaders at a time when New Yorkers seek unity and consensus.